Hello everyone, this is Crystal Putoff back again and uh, I'm going to start, this is going to be the start of a series of a, a pattern, a new pattern that uh, was, uh, an idea was presented to me. One of my dear friends, Louisa, one of the original Zion Eggheads, I, uh, we, we chat and frequently, she, she lives uh, in Texas and I'm here in Illinois. Um, I told her, I said, I needed some ideas, and she said, she sent me a picture. She said, I found this on Pinterest. I don't know where it came from. Don't know, don't know who to give credit for, for this. Um, she sent me this picture. She said, can you, here's, here's an idea, and I saw that, and I thought, wow, that's really cool, and then I looked at it further, and I thought, I've never done anything like that. <laughs> that is a very different division from anything I've ever done. Um, but I gave it a whirl and I came up with this. So my colors are not as vibrant as what uh, was in there. But um, the hard thing was figuring out this division. There's this band and then these diagonals that make this um, at the top. So I am going to go through the steps to do this uh, the division and I also did this uh, so same division um, I'd never done rams before so they turned out okay um, anyway so how do we do this division this is a little different um, I start with my egg and I've drawn some of these lines already and so using my template there are eight uh, lines you know coming from the top here so on my template I used the ones that said 90 and 45 so and I, I used that to mark it and I drew the lines then the next thing I did was I used my lathe to draw these two lines now this is not at the center and this is a chicken egg and this is a slightly green chicken egg so don't adjust your cameras that's that's the egg uh, but it, it's kind of cracked that's why I'm using it for my practice egg so it's about eight centimeters from top to bottom and so I made this line at the four and a half centimeter and the six so it's a centimeter and a half wide and the reason I did that was because to go around and divide it into eights, it's each section's about a centimeter and a half. So that kind of gave me a square here. So I did the eight lines. I drew these two lines. I used my lathe. You don't have to, if you don't have a lathe, you don't need it, but, but that's what I used. The next thing I did was at the top on I made some little marks at the one centimeter and I did them on every other line. It's not going to hurt if you do them on all, but you really only need them on every other one. Now the next thing I'm going to do and this is again is my practice egg so I've drawn the lines very heavy with this pencil I'm going to in each one of these eight squares here I'm gonna draw a diamond shape now I'm normally I would measure this out uh, a little more closely but for purposes of what we're we're doing here to, to demonstrate this I'm going to draw these diamonds. And it's not a, you know, this area is not a perfect square, so it's really better if you draw each diamond individually rather than try and do um, lines that would be like draw an X and draw, draw another X. I, I, I just, I find I get a better diamond if I do it this way. All right, so I have eight diamonds, and the reason that's important um, is because we're going to need that to draw our lines. Now, 
I'm going to, so I have eight diamonds here and I have these marked here at the top. So I'm going to start at this diamond and you can kind of see, so this diamond is just to the left of, of this mark. So I'm going to draw a line that goes from the point of this diamond, it's going to cross this line and it's going to touch here. So I'm going to go right, right like that. And then I'm going to extend this line over to this one, to this next mark. So it goes kind of like that. Now I'm going to skip this diamond, and I'm going to do the same thing here. So this is going to come up, and it's going to touch here. Where this one stopped, that's where this one's going to touch. And it might, you know, maybe it's easier to draw it that way. And then it's going to go over to here. Skip that diamond. Do this diamond. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw it from this direction. So I'm going to draw from here to there. And then I'll go over to here. And this is the last one, so I'm skipping this one. I'm going to go here and draw from here to here. And then from here to there. So now I have this nice square at the top. Okay. And then now what we're going to do is draw the rest of this band. Oh, that was not good. Okay. Um, I made the band a centimeter wide. So what I did I went at the bottom, right there, where it met, met up with the band, and I made a little mark for one centimeter. And then I went up about halfway, made a mark for a centimeter. And then I went up to where the lines connect, made a centimeter line. And then I drew that line. It does not touch at this it's it's just to the right of it on a chicken egg then you can about divide that into four um, areas four triangles or I'm sorry four diamonds like I did here so there's one two three four and that space is about four centimeters so yeah give or take close enough Okay, so that made, that made that band. And then I would do the same thing on the other one. So I'm going to mark here about halfway and then where it meets up. And so this one comes up and this one comes up. So they, they kind of weave over one another in, in a little bit. They don't, one, one of them kind of stops when it meets up with the other one. And I, 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 I wish I knew who, who did that egg that I showed in the picture because it's gorgeous and I would love to give credit whoever the the artist is if someone knows uh, please shoot me a, a note on either YouTube or to my Instagram account at prayerful arts because I would I would love to give that person credit the ram is a symbol of um, God's protection and that comes from the story of Abraham and Isaac when the um, Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac and 
God sent the ram that provided the sacrifice rather than Isaac, so God showed his protection there for and his love for Abraham. So now we have it. It, it, it this looks easy. I'm going to tell you, I stopped and started this probably ten times before I figured it out. So this is how I did it. Now I will go back and put in my diamonds up here. Again, remember I'm drawing very darkly. I would never draw this dark on an egg normally. And I, you can, if you want, you can sort of divide this out before you draw the diamonds. I didn't, but I'll go and do that. Now on the egg that I did, it has some extra lines in here and here and here. And uh, you can draw those in now or you can just draw them in later. I definitely drew in the rams because I had never done a ram before. And, and uh, so I drew that in. But again, you don't have to do a ram, you could do you could do these um, wheat. You could do anything in there. All right. So next week when I come back, I will have the first wax done on the egg, and we'll go over some of the elements that go in here. You know, some different things you can put in here in these areas. And I also do this swirly thing, how, how I do this swirly thing. I'll show you how I do that next week. All right. Thanks for watching.